Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. Today, I want to talk to you about blame. It is very challenging not to blame people sometimes, because sometimes people could do things that really hurt us. They could hurt the people we love. They could hurt us in business. They could betray us. They could lie to us. They could break our hearts. All these things could happen, and we could feel so hurt and so angry. And in truth, we have every right to blame certain people for things that they have done to us. But I have found in my life that there always comes a time where blaming somebody for what they did starts to work against us. And it's not that when you stop blaming someone, they stop being responsible for what they did. Because people are responsible for their actions their entire life. Even if they're forgiven, even if they're not blamed, they're still responsible. But when we continuously blame people and we can't let things go, it becomes this loop that we get stuck in. And I'm not saying this is an easy thing to do. And I'm not even suggesting that people should let go of their blame. I'm really suggesting that it's something we should all look at. And the other day I was listening to Ajahn Brahn, this Buddhist monk. He did this beautiful YouTube video on blame. He said, when we have a problem, it's like we have an itch on our butt. And we itch and we itch and we itch. He said, but when you blame somebody for that problem, then you have an itch on your head. And now you're itching in two places. And the itching goes on and on and on. And now instead of having one problem, you have two problems. And it might seem like a silly analogy to some people, but when you really think about it, when you have a problem because of what somebody did to you, whether business or personal, you have that problem. And blaming that person after a while doesn't solve the problem. So you have two things going on at once. You have a problem you need to deal with, whether someone betrayed you or left you or broke your heart or was dishonest in business or broke a deal, whatever happened, it caused a problem in your life. Something you need to heal, you need to save your business, whatever happened. And it takes a lot of focus and a lot of energy to fix that problem. And at the same time, when we spend all our energy blaming that person for what they did. And again, I'm not saying this person shouldn't be sued or this person is not responsible. But when our energy goes towards the blame, towards the story, towards the loop, it's not going to solve the problem. And that's what blame does after a while. It puts our focus on the other person and it doesn't allow us to heal and move forward. And this could be really challenging. But the blame creates the bitterness the anger, and the story that doesn't ever end. And I know some people believe that the best is always happening. And and I can't say that because I know that I've dealt with many clients over the years that have been in very difficult situations because of other people's actions. But I do know that when these clients made the best of their circumstances, when they were able to look at what they had left, what they were capable of, what they needed to heal. When they took their resources and made the best of it, they all found their way. So what are the best is happening or we need to make the best of it? Eventually, blame just becomes noise and heartache and not letting go. And sometimes it almost doesn't seem fair that in order to enter the moment new, we need to let go of things that we didn't cause. We need to let go and forgive and move on from things that might have been done to us that doesn't seem right. But the letting go is the opening. The letting go is the new beginning. And that's where we come in. That's where we need to be responsible for our lives. Even through the hurt and even through the destruction and even through everything that happens. And so the most kind, loving thing we can do for ourselves is to focus our energy 
on moving forward and trusting that we will be okay no matter what. And blame also could be a funny thing because it becomes the story that we tell. And when we talk about blame all the time, it gets so tricky because sometimes we close our hearts. Because the most important thing in our lives becomes not wanting to get hurt again in a business transaction or in our personal lives. But then we become blind to the fact that we've already survived the pain. Once you survive pain, there's no reason ever to close our hearts again because we know we can get through it. We might not like it and there's no reason to welcome it, but it's almost as if that crack in our heart becomes more spacious and becomes stronger and becomes more compassionate and understanding to others, but more resilient to face the life that's in front of us. So yes, sometimes it feels so good to blame. Believe me, I understand. And I think all of us understand because there are stories all of us can tell about how someone didn't treat us right, or we weren't treated fairly, or we should have got that promotion, we shouldn't have lost that job, that person shouldn't have left us, our child should have gotten into that college, all these stories. And we might be right, but right isn't always healing, and right doesn't always lead us to a new beginning. And right doesn't always allow us the energy we need to start again. And I know I always give exercises at the end of most of my podcasts. But for me, when I think about the idea of blame, the first thing I do is I actually think about Ajahn Brown's story. And I think about having an itch and then giving myself another one. And I remember that I'm trying to move my life forward. And yes, I allow my feelings and you need to be aware of your feelings. You need to process your feelings. You can't just wake up today and say, I'm not going to blame that person anymore. It's just there comes a time after we process our feelings that it makes no sense to have two itches when we could only have one. And what's so amazing that if we stay with the brokenness and we decide to put things down, and we decide to rebuild, that itch becomes a new life. That itch turns into possibilities. It turns into opportunities. It creates a path we never thought was possible. But it's because we decided to begin again to let go and to focus on creating a life that's best for us. And yes, it seems strange sometimes that someone could do something to us and we need to do all the heavy lifting to create the life that we want. But when we do this, there are lessons learned. There's resilience. There's often more wisdom. There's often more depth. And we can come to the beauty of each moment with more love, And with more appreciation. And most of all, when we drop the blame, we are free. We are free of the entanglements of anger and resentment. And we're only free to do this because we decided to take responsibility for our own lives. And make the best of what we have in front of us. And become so present that we're able to look into the unknown with hope and peace and possibility that we will find our way to live our best lives. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to buy my book, The Gift of Maybe, it's available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you could subscribe and leave a comment.